better. several hand brushing boards, so I don't have to spend all my time washing brushes. I just have a simple part on a brush with this phthalo blue and titanium white. I put the liquefier blue on it to bring the color. So it'll stick to that liquid tree color. It's still kind of looks like that. We'll just put a few highlights here. I don't want to pop it. I don't want to lose that beautiful dark. Inch brush, which is where you do this. You want a lot of color on your bristles. A lot of color. All right, here we go. Here we go. I want a nice light area right there. So I'm going to start there because if we pick up the black, it's underneath and all this color, it's going to get darker and darker. That easy. I did that very slow so you can see exactly where it goes. I want that to be bright. I want it to get darker as it leaves that area, so I'm not adding any more white. I'm allowing the brush to pick up the liquid black that's underneath. And automatically, automatically, that'll get darker and darker as it works away. I like that. I think I want a house, but, you know, I always want to live in these scenes after I paint them. So I'm going to put a little more cabin on right there. Once in a while, I get a letter from somebody and they say, Oh, I love that scene until you put that house in there. I didn't like the house. If you don't want a house in yours, well, leave it out. I just want to show you how. What you put in there is your business. All right, right on. Just a 